And you were saying, well, uh, you actually uh, performed at the rave parties at 61. Um, what was then for you the turning point? Now we have a really good shit disco song. Yeah. Do you, do you still recall the first? Oh, when we had, to, I mean, yeah, we've been playing a couple of the songs for like a couple of years now. A lot of them are pretty new, really, relatively. But we've been playing two songs um, that we released as our first single, um, Disco Blood and I Know Kung Fu. And they're both really like, Kung, I Know Kung Fu is a really good live song. It's a, like the crowd, the crowds usually really like that song. And it's, it's the point in the set when usually when things, it's like the breaking point when things start going crazy and the crowd start jumping up and down. And I think that was a really good party song. And it was, it's just, we had two bass guitars, we've got two bass guitars in that song, and it's just because we didn't have enough guitars, and so we started playing on two basses and one guitar, and then we've stuck, we've, we've kept that, and we've got two basses in the band, and, and normally it wouldn't really work, but like, I think we kind of make it work, because we've played it for such a long time, we've managed to sort of, you know, like, change, change the way we play it and stuff, and that and Disco Blood are both just kind of, their points when, we, when we'd written those songs, we realised they were both like really, sort of powerful songs and I think when we play them live it's it's usually the crowd reaction that affirms that you know realize that it's kind of we realize we, we were actually writing proper songs at that point when we done them and for you as now because now well I think we first single was released at the beginning of last year I think or even end, at, end, end of, of 2005, 2005 yeah, yeah. Um, well, what have you been doing this year? Because your second single was released at the end of last year. Yeah, so how come? What yeah, did you, uh... Well, basically, like we released that as an EP, the first one, because it had two remixes on, so it was it wasn't technically a single. And then we basically we recorded Reactor Party, which came out the end of last year, which came out October two thousand and six. But we recorded it in in January two thousand and six. But we had to re-record it because the, we recorded it in a bedroom, in our bedroom, where we used to, in 61 actually. And it, was, it wasn't, wasn't very good recording, so we redid it. And then um, we had to get that remixed. And then basically the whole time we've been touring all of last year, so it was really difficult to get, like, to get the mix finished. And then we had it ready and we went on the NME tour last year and we basically just waited to release it after or, it was, or just at the end of that because we thought it was the best time basically rather than tour it before the enemy tour, so. so. Did you write then new songs uh, last year while touring or? Yeah, yeah. Or I mean, it was, it was really frustrating because we wanted to release Reactor Party in, it was supposed to be out in March and we toured it then and then we didn't release it till October. So we didn't release anything in March when we were on tour. And then it was ready by about June and we were just like, we just wanted to release it. But it made sense in the long run to wait and to, to delay the release until, um, till the end of the tour with, with Claxons on Enemy Tour. So um, I think in the meantime, we just, with the band definitely evolved. We wrote new songs and we, we like, we definitely um, kind of changed as a band. So there's like, it's weird, but the way I look at it is it's like the first phase of Shit Disco is songs like I Know Kung Fu and Disco Blood and sort of the second phase, like there's newer songs like, um, they were going to be on the album. They're much more like melody and vocal centered. And I think like we're all really, really happy with the way it's gone, the way we've sort of changed. But do the songs still fit? I mean, yeah, the yeah, old, old ones and... Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think we've, I mean, because we've been playing for some of the songs for a while, you evolve them anyway, you, you change things slightly anyway. And we've re-recorded I Know Kung Fu and Disco Blood for the album. Okay. And they sound much bigger and they've, they've got much more like little intricacies in them as well. And I think we're much happier about that.